trigonometric is, is a bit of a mouthful, right? So we very, very often, we just um, abbreviate it to trig. Remember I said to you, this big idea underneath triangle measurement, trigonometry, is that the sides and the angles, they relate to each other. Just like the different measurements of your body relate to each other, right? If you have a certain size shoe, that tells you something about, you know, the length of your leg and the length of your arms and so on, okay? So here, the idea is that these angles and these sides are related. Okay, now let me just give you a quick picture of this, okay? Look up, put your pens down. I want you to imagine, here you go, this is the triangle we've drawn right now, right? You've got a right angle here, okay? We call this theta, okay? Now at the moment, I've got little a and little b here. Now can you see, if I keep this triangle more or less the same, but if I change what happens to theta, if I make it bigger or smaller, watch, okay? Um, if I make it really, really small, for instance, okay, so, so here's b down the bottom, okay? Um, if I make it really tiny, something like this, say, there, there's theta now, there's little theta, okay? Can you see if theta is little, then a also has to be little, right? Like this angle makes this side, right? And in the same way, if I went the other direction, if I made theta enormous, right? If I made it, okay, here's, here's my same b, right? And then I made theta really tall, like this. See, that's a, that's a bigger angle. Okay. Well now B, sorry, A rather, A has gotten really enormous, right? So you can see A always kind of has this relationship with the angle, right? In fact, both of the sides have this relationship. So to try and understand what this relationship is, we introduce these three ratios, which is like, what's a ratio? It's when you compare two different quantities, okay? And the ratios have fancy names, and I'm going to teach them to you, okay? The first ratio is called sine. Do you write these? Okay. Yeah, please write them down. Okay, it's called sine, right? S I N E, not sine, right? Sine. Uh, it comes from a, a an old word in another language. It might be Arabic or Indian. That means curve. Um, I'll explain why that is in the future. Okay, but just for now, sine. Now we tend to um, abbreviate that to without the E, okay? Oh, but we nice. still pronounce it sign, right? It still comes from here. So that's why this is not sin, it's sign. That's why it's okay. All right, now, there's another ratio, okay? It's called cosine, okay? Cosine. Now, by the way, sine, I told you it means curve. It has to do with a particular ratio. Um, the co in cosine, you can see they're, they're obviously related, right? The co stands for complement. Um, not as in, you remember we talked about complements like, hey, nice haircut, and complements in geometry with an E, which means, what is it when two angles are complements? They add up to... They're supplements when they add up to 180, and they're complements when they add up to 90, okay? We will come back to this idea again. I just want you to sort of flag it and have a read. So, so it's okay. is cosine. So, so this is the second ratio, that's right. And I'll tell you what the ratios are. Uh, lastly, sorry, cosine, we abbreviate that to cos, okay, three letters. So ratio number one, ratio number two, the third ratio is called tangent. Just like with circles, tangent is this line. Yeah. When you've got a circle and there's a line which just touches it, right, that's a tangent. So we abbreviate that to tan. And what does it mean? Okay, yes, I will show you. Now here's the thing, right? It's the ratio of particular sides, I'm gonna tell you what they are in a second, in relation to an angle, okay? So this is my original triangle that we all drew at the start, right? So you can say, look, I want sine of an angle over there. You would read it at like this, sine theta, okay? Or cos theta, or tan theta, right? So you give it an angle, and here's the ratio you get for each one. There's three different ratios, okay? Sine theta is, you look at this opposite side and the hypotenuse. You take, you divide one by the other. Opposite divided by hypotenuse. And that's a ratio, right? I'm comparing how big is the opposite side in relation to the hypotenuse, okay? Can you wait? 
Cosine is another ratio. This time instead of opposite and hypotenuse, it's adjacent. Oops, that's a D that turned into a J. Adjacent on hypotenuse. Okay, the last one is tan, right, which is opposite on adjacent. Okay, now you're like, wow, that's a lot to remember. It is, I'll teach you a nice easy way to remember it in a second. So one last thing I want to point out, which is that, I'm going to rub off this tall triangle. Have a look at tan. Tan's a bit different to the others. Right? Actually, it's different in a lot of ways, and I'm going to unpack that over the next couple of weeks. But the first way that I'm going to show you is that, see how sine is a ratio of two sides, right? And cos is a ratio of two sides. And you're like, tan's also a ratio of two sides. Ah, but it's a ratio of something else as well. Can you see, right? Think this through with me. I know that fractions are a bit tricky. It's sine on cos. Can you see this? Look at it with me. Okay. If I divided sine theta by cos theta, this fraction by this fraction, can you see the hypotenuses would cancel? Right? Let me write it out for you. Opposite on hypotenuse. If I divide that by adjacent on hypotenuse. Okay? How do you divide fractions? Um, you multiply and then you flip. You multiply and then you flip. So I'm going to get, I'm going to start abbreviating this because they're very long. Um, multiply and then flip. Like this. Okay? But look, cancel, cancel. Opposite on adjacent, which is what we call tan theta, tangent theta. So this here, these are the trigonometric ratios, and we're going to unpack. What, what you can do with these things is really cool, actually. Now, like I said, it looks like a bit of a mess to remember, okay? So I'm gonna teach you a mnemonic, which is, um, it's like a little memory device, it's an acronym. It goes like this. sa ka toa you might have seen it before. Uh, what it stands for, sa toa is um, each of the ratios, okay? So sine starts with an S, sine. And sine is opposite on hypotenuse, right? So that's the so of Sokotoa, okay? Cosine, which starts with the C, is adjacent on hypotenuse, so Soka. And tan is opposite on adjacent, okay? So Sokotoa, right? You're like, that's the made-up word. It's not real. That's true, but it's quite easy to say, and um, it's quite easy to remember. 